Ah, uh, creepers. They're cute, they're cuddly, and a little bit annoying. Just like dogs. But we're not here to discuss how creepers are dog-like, we're here to talk about some of the NBT tags creepers can come with. Now, if you're not familiar with anything I just said, you might want to check the tutorials page in the description of this video to learn about how command blocks work. In this example, we can modify the MBT tags of the creeper using the forward slash summon command, or we can change an existing entity by using the entity data command. For this example though, I'm going to be using the forward slash summon command, and we're going to be summoning the creepers with the tags. Oh, and a side note, you can actually give yourself a spawn egg with a custom MBT tag as well. That's for the more advanced kids though. So yeah, we all know that creepers get near you and they explode, but did you know that if you right click a creeper with a flint and steel, you can actually ignite it? Not only that, but you can force these ignited creepers into being using the ignited tag, spelt without a capital letter for some reason. So if you haven't guessed already, ignited creepers are doomed to explode, and they will explode after their fuse length is up. Speaking of fuse length, you can actually change that. You notice how it takes a little while for creepers to explode? How about we extend this to maybe, I don't know, 5 seconds in this example. Sometimes you can make them explode as quickly as one tick. Also this is pretty useful, if you make a creepers fuse zero ticks, then it will explode immediately. It doesn't have to be ignited or provoked, which is pretty cool. So you know that all creepers are doomed to explode, but did you know you can actually change the size of that explosion with the explosion radius tag? It's normally set to 3, but if you want a massive explosion then set it to something like 10 or 20 to create a moon sized crater in your world. A word of advice when you do that though, just turn off mob griefing. If you don't know how to do that then that's also on the tutorials page, I've covered these things before, great. And finally, if you've been playing survival Minecraft for a very long time, you might have come across one of these electrically charged creepers. Now these guys appear when they are struck by a lightning bolt. However, we are command block engineers and we don't have to strike them with lightning, we can just use the powered tag to make these guys electric. Now, when you add the powered tag, these guys have a larger explosion radius, so keep that in mind. Fun fact about charged creepers, did you know that if they blow up a nearby mob, there's actually a chance that that mob will drop their skull? Pretty cool stuff. But unfortunately, that is all I have to say about the MBT tags of creepers. However, if you're hungry for more, you can either watch more of my videos, or even better, go check out Vanilla Burp's channel my recommended YouTuber for today. Now recently, Vanilla Burp has started an ultimate block model challenge, which is awesome, and if you're interested in block models and modeling, then that's even more reason to go check out our channel, and maybe, just maybe, you could be invited to participate in this challenge if you ever get challenged. It's a little bit like the Ice Bucket Challenge, but like, ultimate block model. Anyway, you guys need to subscribe to her. Thanks everyone for watching, I will see you in the next one. Take care.